Hey guys, how you doing? Victor Anyangu here. This week, talking about another important thing. Very important, believe me. Um, you see, um, there was a time I found it really difficult to earn money. You know, I wasn't making anything. I was like, ah, I'm not making any money. What am I going to do? Right? So, so I find it hard to make money, you know, uh, to make extra cash, to, uh, to attract the kind of audience that I wanted. I'll pay what I wanted. Okay. So what I didn't know was apart from the fact that the product has to be good, market it well, get the audience, there's also the mental part. Right? You can unconsciously be demarketing yourself because of the kind of thoughts that go through your mind, because you are thinking, ah, I can't even pay for this, I can't even put this, so, you know. So so yeah, you're looking at something like like so okay. How do I raise a hundred K in a month? A hundred K that is actually 25K every week. As soon as that, 25K every week. Alright? In a five day working week, it's 5K every day. It's as simple as that. So how do you raise a hundred K? Okay? They're like, wow, it's a lot of money. You know, but I had to start dealing with all those limiting thoughts and all of that. One of the ways that I dealt with mine was I came out of that my environment. Many people around me then, they were all thinking 100K. How do we in 100K? We all salary earners, right? Worked in the hospital, so. Because we're all in the hospital, we all earn good money and we liked it, right? So how do how do we earn a hundred K from our businesses? Right? How do we make somebody pay a hundred K for something? Crazy. But when I stopped hanging out with those guys, and I started hanging out with people that were making a hundred K in a day. Mm-hmm. I'm serious. I mean, a hundred k in a day. Things changed. Okay, look at it this way. If you're earning a hundred k, right? Your tithe will probably be ten thousand. Okay. Then your, you know, whatever you want to do, all those your investments and all those other things you might want to do, just be small, small, small around around that small, small cap. So when you are meeting somebody that is paying tight of maybe three hundred thousand, okay, uh, maybe maybe another guy paying tight of uh, I don't know maybe five hundred k. How much do you think he's earning? How much do you think he makes from his business? Do you understand what I'm talking about now? One of the ways to fix your limiting beliefs. One of the ways to fix your questions, or you start asking, how do I end this? How do I end this? Hang out with people already earning what you're trying to earn. All right? So people are making millions in a month. Okay? You are making a hundred thousand, hundreds, you know, thousands. So you want to make millions. Good. Hang out with people making millions. Now, when you do that, excuse me, you will find out that there's this change in thinking. Your mind just blows up. <laughs> okay. Your mind just blows or just opens up, right? Even those guys begin to say, okay, so you do this. Okay, fine. So, yeah, do this for this, my client. You know, you, they begin to push deals to you. Okay. And you start doing those deals and you start earning the money and your mind begins to open up and you start earning more. Now, then you're no more scared of, you know, putting a price, fixing a price, talking to people about it, all right? You know, you imbibe, you take some of the things that they already have. You realize that many of them are very good at the business. They are damn good, 
all right and anytime they sit down all they talk about is business i don't want to make more i don't want to help these guys i don't want to push for this company i don't want to pitch for this product you know how they've seen this advantage or they say oh the federal government is focusing on agriculture for example how they say okay how can i take advantage of this focus of the federal government federal government is in focusing on agriculture i think i should start something related to agriculture you know you just see all of this you begin to see opportunities like them you begin to see things like them so who you hang around all right who you hang out with matters so you know when i say things like this people will be like uh, what about those that don't have anybody what about those that don't have anybody well that's why you need to have somebody have enough for yourself for them then take all that you have and help those that have nobody all right if you can recognize that ah, there's some people that don't have anything so that could be your calling your calling could be to help them all right because some of us we don't recognize them but, but some people do recognize them all right so because you recognize them it could be your calling for example i recognize that many people are poor all right and i know that to help them we need to create more rich people all right the government is doing whatever it's doing you know i'm not going to go into that but what can we do at our own level all right what can we do at our own level to help create more rich people all right how many businesses can you create how many people can you employ in those businesses that could you know earn some money that can help every person earning a salary can help one two people right so it means that two or three people would have gone to bed hungry will probably have something to eat because of what you are doing for that guy because that guy is employed working for you do you understand what i'm saying right so if you can help him then he probably now starts a business of his own so he can take in more people and help more people do you understand so you see the multiplier effects of all this all right so you hanging out with people who think that it's easy to make millions of naira then you begin to think it's easy to all right you begin to see how it's possible to do it they begin to push deals to you you begin to handle those deals all right producing good results now you are earning millions of naira you can employ some other people to do the same and as they hang out with you they'll pick some of these things from you all right you will help wipe some dirty words from their mouth like impossible like it will not work like in this ninja you know all those kind of things you know you wipe out all those words from their mouth you know imagine imagine how nigeria will be if that's what everybody's doing just imagine so that's the thing hang out with people who are already thinking the way you want to think all right hang out with people who are already thinking the way you want to think. i don't stay in whatsapp groups where you have negative people people that go about insulting nigeria insulting the land that you are planting on i don't get it you're planting on this land nigeria you're now insulting the land that you're planting on then you now wonder why the land is not yielding results well done well done keeps insulting the land keep cursing the land that you're planting all right i can't cause the land i plant on all right i would rather speak into it speak that the land will be good speak that my results will come out fantastic speak that everything will work in my favor for me no matter what any other person thinks that's what you should be doing all right so hang out with people that speak the type of language you want to hear all right because i am sharp not i am those words will come to you will strengthen you you will feel better you would you would get to the point where you start producing those kind of results okay so that's the first step i think for me all right you you you, you might find out that it will be difficult for you to get out some of those negative things from your head it will be difficult on your own it will be very very difficult but the way to do it is to be in a group where they 
only speak positive. They only do positive. They only declare positive. They only see positives. If you're in that type of group, that is the way you'll be thinking too. Right? It doesn't mean that you ignore the negative. The negative is already being said everywhere. No. It's not that you're ignoring it. It is that you have decided to focus on the positive. All right? Every other person can do what they like with the negative. Focus on the positive. All right? Spend your time with people who speak the kind of language that you want to speak. All right? You want to earn 100,000? Spend time with people that earn 100,000. You want to earn 1 million? Spend time with people that earn 1 million. You want to earn, uh, I don't know, you want to buy a house? All right? You want, you, want, you want to start up companies? Okay? Spend time with people that do that already. Then you realize it's not so hard. They'll begin to push deals your way and things will begin to work for you. All right? Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'll see you guys next week, I think. All right? Ciao, ciao.